but it explains why these houses uh, were bought very fast. So we are very happy to be able to host this particular facility here. We also have another one coming up in a place called Mega. It's still uh, being developed and we are happy as Kiambu to be able to, uh, to, to see the benefits of one of the four pillars of the big four agenda, which is affordable housing. It's also very important for super servants who for a long time were not able to afford houses, but now they can afford houses, they can buy either directly uh, or they can buy through mortgages. And there is an arrangement that is in place, which is very friendly to civil servants. So I also want to take this opportunity to thank government on behalf of my fellow civil servants that we are now able to live in houses that perhaps previously could only be afforded by members of uh, the private sector. So without further ado, may I now welcome the government spokesman and our owner to make his remarks. Thank you. Uh, thank you very much, uh, Mr. DCC, Mr. Misharia, Mr. Kaprich, Mr. Kieran, Mr. Tana, Mr. Iraq, members of the Fourth Estate. Let me start by first of all thanking all the fellow special members of the Fourth Estate for responding to our invitation for you to come over and uh, part of this event today when we are talking to our people and the people um, regarding what we have been able to achieve as a government as far as one of the pillars of the digital agenda is concerned and that is the affordable housing pillar. Perhaps I can say that the one pillar that has made tremendous progress is the pillar of affordable housing. Of course you are aware that uh, you know, the issue of having decent housing for people is also enshrined in our competition, but also um, within Mission 2030. So us being here today really is to show the country where we are today as far as the realization of that uh, aspiration is concerned. You recall that uh, we as a country have been facing you know, a rural urban migration. And, and every year, we are you know, facing a deficit of about 2 million houses uh, in this country. And because of that, it's like we short, we short up the cost of construction, very, very high in this country. The cost of owning a house, very, very high in this country. And therefore, many of our people have been unable to access or even to own a house. And therefore, they have been forced to move into slum areas. And that explains why in Nairobi we have got Kibera, we have got Mukuru, we have got Panamu. There are many, many slums, not just Nairobi alone, but even other you know, urban centers in this country. Because of the cost of owning a house in this country. And the government had to step in to bring that. And therefore, affordable housing program has been the answer to that. And today, you can probably say, as a government, that the cost of owning a house today has been brought down from 11 million shillings on average to between two and five million shillings. And this house that we've been able to see also range from two million from five to five million from point something. It will be one uh, bedroom, two bedroom, three bedroom houses. So anyone today can be able to achieve or even to own a house in this country. So the government therefore has provided an environment to allow the cost of construction and the cost of owning a house to come down. So that's why we are talking about 10,000 construction sites, cumulatively giving out 180,000 housing units. So that is important to clarify the role of the government in all this. As of now, of course, Kiambu is one of the countries Counties that have been able to get into partnership with the government as far as this affordable housing project or program is concerned. But there are other 28 counties that makes 29 in total of the counties that have seen it important to get into the engagement with the government to provide affordable housing for the people of this country.